Have you ever wondered what Formula One would look like if the teams weren't holding back? But there's a secret hiding in the rulebook. It's completely legal, and no one will ever build it. This is engineering reality, hidden in plain sight within the FIA's own technical regulations. And by the end, you'll know exactly what this theoretical machine would look like, why it would be unbeatable, and the brutal truth about why the politics of F1 will never let it see the track. Every regulation in this sport exists because someone found a way to exploit it. And right now, in 2025, those exploits are still there waiting for someone brave enough or stupid enough to use them. Let's start with the most devastating weapon this secret car would have. Ground effect pushed to its absolute legal limit. While teams estimate their cars generate well over a thousand kilograms of downforce at high speeds, this hypothetical design could push that to almost double. The edge seals, those crucial barriers that prevent air from escaping under the car, could be optimized to create a ground effect so powerful it would dramatically increase the car's suction to the tarmac. The downforce advantage alone would be worth 1.5 seconds per lap at most circuits. This design wouldn't compromise, living on the knife's edge of perfection, and that's exactly why it's too dangerous to build. Picture a single fuel tank bladder shaped so that as fuel burns off, the center of gravity moves in a predetermined optimal pattern for each phase of the race. This would allow the weight to be positioned more forward during the race's early stages for front end grip, and then gradually shift rearward at a slower rate than a typical tank for better tire wear and straight line stability in the final stint. This design wouldn't generate more power, but it would maximize energy recovery to ensure that 120 kilowatts is available for more of the lap, precisely when and where the driver needs it. While the MG UK deployment is limited to four megajoules per lap, a more efficient MG UH would recover enough energy to constantly replenish the battery, meaning the driver could deploy that full 120 kilowatts of electric power far more often and for longer than a current car. This would allow the rear wing to behave like a standard DRS flap at low speeds, but at high speeds, its controlled flex would naturally open the slot gap to its maximum legal limit, providing a near perfect drag reduction even before the driver hits the DRS zone. Instead of having a performance advantage, this car would be in a different category of racing machine, with a potential cumulative gain of up to four seconds per lap if all its theoretical advantages were combined. But the real reason this car will never be built isn't financial or technical, it's political. They know exactly how much performance is being left on the table, and they've all agreed not to pursue it. it teams deliberately holding back their engineering capabilities to maintain the illusion of close competition. But in a sport where politics matter more than performance, where entertainment value trumps engineering excellence, that car will remain forever theoretical. If you think F1 should unleash these engineering monsters instead of hiding behind political agreements, smash that like button, tell me in the comments which loophole shocked you most, and subscribe because the secrets I'm uncovering are just getting started.